All right, guys. I kind of lost the plot of the video. I've been running around like crazy trying to get some stuff done on the 300ZX, but I think I got it figured out. I'm gonna get you caught up. Okay, it's a total mess going on. This is probably like four days in, I think, but we got the engine out of the car got the other engine dressed up I'm gonna explain what's going on but the 300ZX is a 94 car and the engine transmission I got is out of like a 91 I think so apparently they made some changes which I should have figured that but it is what it is it's no big deal but that's the old engine that was blown up that's a 94 this is the 90 91 engine whatever but the intake um, I think the intake like physically is like the same but they made some changes to the injectors which they machined the housing different to hold the different injectors well I found that um, oh, and the wiring harness is different so some of the connectors from the 90 will not work with the 94 harness or that's backwards but yeah the 94 harness won't work with the 90 engine let's change a few connectors or change a few things around which I did so basically I just took the intake and injectors off the 94 and put it on to the 90 engine so i think that that's all i'm gonna have to do it was just man it's a bit of a nightmare i didn't want to be like another person that says that 300 x's are impossible to work on which they're not they're definitely not the worst i've ever seen but they're difficult if you've never worked on stuff i mean it might make you scratch your head a few times but this engine is ready to go in Oh, and another thing, if you're ever going to pull the pull the engine out of your 300ZX, the wiring harness stays with the car. I've never seen a car to where you can't just pull the wiring harness out of the firewall and sit it on top of the engine and pull the whole assembly. So, definitely learned that one the hard way. The extremely hard way. <laughs> but I, So we're getting ready to sit the engine in and you know, save you guys all the boring bits, but show you the engine bay and show you the engine and then we'll get this thing in here. And I'm hoping like crazy it's going to run. So, like I said, check it out. But of course, I cleaned the engine up, the engine bay the best I can. I got the wiring harness and everything laid over here. I was like trying to take all that stuff off the firewall before or while the engine was in there. It, it's it's a nightmare. And even when if, even if you do get all that stuff disconnected, the, the connector won't pull through that tiny hole right there. So thank you Nissan for that. But that common rust area right here, I just sprayed it with some undercoating and, you know, rust stopper. So, don't look too bad. I'm not mad about it. Got it all under there and stuff. Looks pretty good. But yeah. Um, the reason for putting the engine in the T-top instead of the slick top car. Sorry about the sirens, guys. Um, having a bit of a title issue with the slick top car. I'm sure I can get it figured out. And plus, I want to just take my time with that and do that car really nice because I really like that. I like the slick top. So maybe we might LS swap that car. I don't know. Sorry. Don't get mad at me. Just because it's easy and it works and I can buy the stuff I need. Um, I don't know. Maybe a turbo. Probably the turbo swap that car because that would be kind of dope, I think. Because I, I would like to have a twin turbo car. This thing right here, there's no telling what's going to happen to it. But it is going to be running this video. So, stay tuned. All right, guys, we got the engine in the air. <laughs> yes, I know this isn't safe, but you know, got to what you got to do. Got the other engine over there. I had to use my freaking mower to kind of pull it out of the way. That is a heavy V6. My goodness, let me tell you. I don't know what these things weigh, but they're heavy. Kind of got me a little worried, to be honest with you. <laughs> but if I put the LS1 and the T56 and the RX7s with this setup, I'm sure it'll work. I don't want to jinx it, but you know. Anyway, we're going to roll the car up here to the engine, sit the engine down in there, and it's going to go just that smooth. Watch.
All right, that uh, that wasn't too bad. Got to sit down there, getting the uh, driver's side mount uh, lined up was kind of a pain in the ass, me if I'm being honest. But, but I'm gonna jack this thing up, get the cross member and the engine mounts tight, and I'm gonna call the brake right there, and uh, give me something to eat. When I come back, we'll do all the stupid stuff like put the drive shaft in, put the exhaust on, hook all the wiring and all that stuff up, and then we'll crank it up. Hopefully, it's gonna crank. How's it going guys? We're taking a quick break from working on the 300ZX. Uh, me and Donald, we're actually up here in Tennessee right now at Dills Gap, the Dragon, whatever you want to call it. We're in the FDRX7. We're just going to hang out for a little bit, cruise around, and just have a little fun. Blow off some steam, you know? So, hope you guys enjoy. Yes, sir! It's slow, but it's running. <laughs> Dude, this car is so cool. But yes, guys, as you've seen, the 300ZX is together and it's running. It's awesome. I was trying to get this thing together for my birthday on October the 8th to take it to Dills Gap. As you've seen, I didn't make it, so we took the RX-7 instead. So, you know, life's full of disappointments, right? But, I'm going to show you the car and that's going to be it. <laughs> Sorry I really didn't go into detail with it and everything, but like I said, it was just a mad scramble. But... We're not out of the woods yet. There's still some stuff that needs to be done, but I mean, it's a car that's been sitting and it's really old, so. But we got the engine in here. Um, the only thing that I didn't show you guys, that was kind of sketchy, was I did have to change the cam position sensor, which I think has caused me an issue. I need to make, check the timing on this thing because I think it's off. And that's about it. So, but I'm, freaking stoked man this thing it's raggedy but that's kind of the charm of it i don't know when something's like clapped out i just it adds character in my opinion so yeah let you guys hear this thing real quick it's nothing special but you know it's it's cool <laughs> all right that thing yeah I got a high idle too I need to adjust the idle on this thing yeah <laughs> yeah still got a lot of work to do like I said I didn't want to like rush it and take a chance on hurting the car just to drive it you know two or you know three hours and then to break down you guys will see this thing again i got big plans for it um, it's not going anywhere um, i've always wanted a 300zx and now i have two so just gotta stay motivated and keep trying that's so cool it's not the twin turbo i wanted but we're working on that part <laughs> all right guys i appreciate you watching and uh sticking around and all that good stuff if you're interested in watching the rx7 at deals gap that will be on the next video that I post, so make sure you go check that out. Appreciate you guys.